Tater Skin and the Eco Defenders, Chapter 6 Terra Doctor I knew that was a miss here on the part of Marmalade, but it made me think. A Terra Doctor would be an Earth Doctor, a physician for the Earth. He or she would heal the Earth when it got sick. We don't need those now, because time, mainly, has healed all those wounds that humans had inflicted on the planet. What about harm done in the past, I proposed, with another, a Rodnap, a new one, which Albert could build for us. We could go back in time, get a pterodactyl as a companion for Draco, and then use our knowledge of what would then be viewed as the future to prevent many of the catastrophes that occurred later. I mean, in the past, our past, that is, but their future. So this is our situation, Stripes said, provided we get another time and space vehicle, that is to say if Albert can and will build another one. Draco wants a pterodactyl, and she wants to see Yuki again, and Tub Thumper wants to see her brother Chumbawamba again. So the first question is, where to get a pterodactyl? The show that I watched said a large flock of them, Tub Thumper began, but was interrupted by Draco. Remember, pterodactyls are lizards, not birds. So it wasn't a flock of pterodactyls. It was a lounge of pterodactyls. Okay, then, Smarty Scales, a lounge of pterodactyls lived in Solnhofen Limestone, Germany, before they went extinct, Tub Thumper informed the group. Then let's go unextinct them, Draco said. Remember, animals, it's not only about where, but also about when, I said. When did the pterodactyls live there, Tub Thumper? Oh, about 150 million years ago, give or take a few million years, she answered matter-of-factly and then started munching placidly on a bale of hay. One hundred fifty million years, I exclaimed. We have never gone back further than a few hundred years. Well, in for a pound, in for a megaton, as they say, or whatever, Stripes interrupted. It sounds like we're going to Germany for the pterodactyl, then Australia to visit the koala bear, followed by India, and finally Africa. India? I asked, but was glad to hear it included as part of our proposed itinerary. I was glad I didn't have to bring it up myself, and get teased about it, that is. Of course, India, Stripe said, with a bit of a purr in his voice. After all, that's where Rovette is, right? 